Ha! Huh? What is up, everyone? I am even cringe, and ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be doing another art review. Oh yes, everyone! So, just like usual, I have three really awesome artists lined up for you today, and uh, I hope you all enjoy this one. So, without further ado, let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so the very first artist we got for today is called uh, QV4RTZ, okay, a 9, a Design and Interface a Student, Quartz, okay, so that's what uh, the name is supposed to be, it's Quartz, a female from the United States, and she has been on DA for one year, and the picture that she sent me in her note is this one right here and honestly you know by looking at this i can definitely tell that there's a, a good amount of potential right here and all that uh, judging by you know the other pictures right here i think you draw animals uh, more than humans so uh, i gotta say this is actually a pretty decent start you know now the first thing that i gotta mention is of course uh, the anatomy now the anatomy really doesn't look bad per se but uh, there's definitely some work to be done uh, first off, the characters definitely do look a little bit too flat, uh, you know, when they're, uh, you know, concerning their torsos. Like, especially over here, um, you know, there really isn't any, like, a definition uh, to where the, uh, you know, to where the uh, chest and the waist is. Uh, so, uh, you know, try working a little bit more on that. Uh, plus, I do think that, uh, you know, the shirt kind of makes uh, the character's torso look a little bit longer than it should be. So, uh, yeah, uh, try, uh, you know, trying adding a little bit more curvature and all that, you know, try using a side reference. Like, I can definitely see uh, what you were doing right here. Over here, try to add a little bit of a natural curvature. And, uh, you know, that's actually uh, going pretty well for you and all that. Just to keep practicing a little bit more and you'll get better in no time. And the second thing is uh, the hands. Now, uh, a lot of artists always say that the hands and feet are usually the hardest to draw. So, you can't really, you can't really fault anyone for that. So, uh... The only thing I can say is, uh, like I said, you know, with uh, general general anatomy, you know, try to use like a side reference. And of course, uh, another good uh, strategy is, you know, to look at your own hand in uh, these specific poses and see how it looks like and try to incorporate that into, uh, you know, into your own style and all that. Another thing I gotta mention is, of course, the line work. Now, uh, when you take a look at both of the characters, there's uh, like a ample amount of, you know, both wobble and chop on a, on each of them. So my advice is, you know, try to steady your hand and uh, don't be afraid of uh, erasing lines and uh, doing them over again until they look just right. Because, uh, you know, this right here, you know, it, it's like, uh, yeah. But besides those few things, the picture actually does look quite nice. I really do like the coloring, you know, a nice, a subtle, you know, a more darker casual tones and all that. And what I really do like is the detail work that you did on the characters, uh, you know, have faces and hair. As you can see, if you zoom in on the faces, you'll see like, uh, you know, these uh, tiny details, you know, on the face, around the eye. And of course, on the hair, as you can see, the characters, uh, you know, both have like these little freckles right there. And that's actually really good, you know, like uh, you pay a lot of attention to small details, which uh, definitely is really, really good. It's something they should uh, definitely keep doing. So now it's time to work uh, more on your anatomy and uh, the line work. You know, you got the detail work and coloring uh, down pat, so a good job on that. You know, keep doing what you're doing, you know, practice a little bit more, and uh, like I said before, you'll get better in no time. So the character is called Oliver, he's a 16-year-old male, and, uh, cold. I don't know what the cold is supposed to mean, but, uh, I don't know, I think it's a reference to, like, the, uh, more darker, uh, darker colors, you know, like, uh, you know, colder tones and all that. We don't apologize, I made a new ref for my boy Ollie, uh, took me forever, but I got it done, uh, gotta make some more refs for my other characters soon, our copyright me, character copyright me, please do not steal trace reference without permission or claim as yours. And the second artist we got for today is... Splatoon Queen, a digital art hobbyist, Nemo, female from Australia, and she has been on DA for one year. She actually sent me two pictures in her note, and the first one is this, the antlers picture. Yes, everyone, and I gotta say, I really do like this picture. I do love the uh, fan fantastical vibe and all that. I love the details, you know. The shading is also pretty nice and mellow, and just the picture gives an overall a very nice, uh, calm, uh, you know, calming vibe. So uh, that's definitely a huge thumbs up for me. Now, the picture, sadly, is in a, a bit of a smaller resolution, so I can't really examine it as well, you know, unless I lean into the screen, which... I'm gonna do a little bit now, um, honestly with this picture, uh, like, uh, overall it actually looks pretty good, I really do like the uh, detail work especially, you know, on the, uh, on the clothes, and of course, uh, on the antlers as well, you know, the smaller details with the ribbon, the coloring is also really nice, and uh, neither of the colors clash, you have very, very nice autumn, autumn colors and all that. Uh, but uh, the only thing I can actually tell you, uh, you know, to improve upon this picture is maybe the hands. You know, get the get the hands a little bit more defined. You know, right now it kind of, they kind of look like uh, 
Um, there really isn't that much definition, and uh, they kind of look more like uh, pincers, uh, to be totally honest. You know, the fingers kind of look more like pincers. Uh, yeah, unless you really like lean into the screen, you really can't just see that much definition in the hands. Now, I know this is supposed to be like a lineless type of thing, and that's all well and good, but uh, when it comes to like the smaller details with the hands, you know, it never hurts to make uh, like, uh, you know, some lines, you know, with a, with a, like a different shade of the same color, you know, to signify like the spaces, you know, between the fingers and all that, because right now the fingers kind of look uh, like pincers, like I said. Uh, basically, what you should do is uh, you should take a look at like a... Uh, either artworks or like uh, cartoons and all that stuff uh, that are done in a lineless style and see how and see how they do it and all that like uh, try looking at uh, something like samurai jack and see you know how uh, the you know the uh, the um, you know lines and uh, different shades are done to uh, you know space out the fingers and all that it's uh, they're very easily noticeable once you do that uh, but right now it kind of looks a little bit too bright you know everything's the same shade and it's uh, kind of kind of hard to tell things apart Antlers. I did this ages ago, so it's not that good. I think I'm gonna redo it. And of course, the next picture that she sent me is, of course, the redrawn version, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at that. And of course, everything else, like uh, the hair, is obviously much more detailed. Very beautiful. If you zoom in on it, you can see like a, uh, uh, you can see like the strands. Uh, I really love the uh, touch of lighting on the hair as well. Uh, it gives it a lot more volume and dimension. Very, very beautiful indeed, I gotta say. You know, uh, a lot of a lot of attention to small details, especially when you zoom in on the head, as you can see. Over here, we got the uh, small little, uh, you know, ear dots, kind of like a kind of like a deer and all that. And uh, on the face, as you can see, you know, different uh, different shades of color in the eye. Uh, really beautiful. And uh, of course, on the antlers, we have these like a uh, little uh, hanging flowers. You know, instead of the ribbon, now it's uh, like a uh, hanging flower stems and all that. And as you can see, uh, you know, the lighting. I really do love uh, the lighting and what you did with it. You know, the light is actually coming. You know, from the uh, uh, from the little uh, leaf right there and illuminating the whole character. Very beautiful touch, I gotta say. And of course, everyone, as you can obviously see, the hands are much, much better in this picture. Not only do we see like a uh, shading on the inside of the palms, but also over here on the knuckles, you know, uh, very, uh, very nice and defined and all that. Uh, this is pretty much what you should do with a lineless art style. Either make uh, lines that are like um, in the, uh, in a, uh, you know, the same color, but a different shade of it. And of course, uh, with a little bit of shading thrown in there to give some more definition and dimension to it. Overall, a huge thumbs up and a massive improvement. And I gotta say, folks, I really, really love, uh, you know, taking a look at uh, pictures like this because it really does show your improvement as an artist. Uh, my advice is uh, take the original picture and the redone version and like Photoshop them in the in the same picture, write down the years below them, uh, just so people can see how far you've come as an artist. It's really awesome, and judging by your uh, by your other pictures, you're on a really, really good track. So keep doing what you're doing. Antler character redraw. A redraw of a character I made a couple of years ago. I'm very happy with my improvements. Uh, this character never really had any backstory or anything. Kind of only exists so just to keep track of my progress over the years. When I redraw them, I uh, d but I decided to redraw this year. I'll give them a little bit of personality. I made a genderless character and a mystical uh, mythical creature of nature. That's all I can come up with. Lol. Well, I gotta say this is a pretty cool creation. I really do love you know these uh, fantasy uh, you know humanoid type characters, especially when they're done so well. So again, a huge thumbs up uh, and all that. I really like the fact that you're uh, you know redrawing these characters every now and again. Uh, you know so you can. So you can show how far you've improved and all that. Just take my advice with the whole, you know, photoshopping all of the pictures into the into the same one, writing the years down below so people can see how far you've come. And the third and final artist we got for today is Ch uh, Chlonkachu, uh, another hard to pronounce name. Uh, uh, woo, uh, you you're so warm. A digital art hobbyist, a nya female from unknown, and she's been on DA for seven months. And the picture that uh, she sent me in her note is Alex reference sheet. And just like how I said with the previous pic that I like, uh, you know, uh, seeing pictures like that, you know, that show artists' uh, progress throughout the years, I also like getting stuff like this, you know, these character reference sheets and all that. It's actually pretty cool. So the things that could use a little bit more work on are, uh, first off, this is a QC Chibi style character, and that's all well and good. So uh, there, there's not really uh, there's not really that much you need to do with it, other than uh, you know make your uh, make your lines a little bit more smooth and uniform. Like uh, as you can see over here on the legs, you know there definitely is a uh, uh, there definitely is a decent amount of wobble to the lines. So uh, try uh, you know redoing them, you know smoothing them out and all that. As well as over here, we can see on the tail there's a little bit of a little bit of wobble. The clothes, however, actually do look uh, quite nice, uh, you know, with the uh, you know, natural amount of, amount of wobble and all that. Uh, the rest of the uh, little uh, reference pictures over here on the eyes, 
you know, uh, like over here it looks like uh, there's some uh, color escaping, you know, and all that. There's a little bit of white right here as well as over there. And of course, a bit of wobbliness around the, uh, you know, the shape of the eye. So try working a little bit more on that, you know. Uh, like if something uh, looks kind of off, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, uh, uh, you know, redo it or like uh, try to, you know, try to fix it, like fill in the colors and whatnot. And besides that, it really does look pretty nice. I gotta say, I like the coloring and of course uh, the little, uh, the little tiny details, like uh, as you can see on the hair, uh, you know, the individual tufts of hair are very nicely defined. Over here, we got a cute little, uh, you know, touch of lighting in the shape of a heart. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's uh, let's read a little bit of this reference. So she always wears a necklace, uh, a lock necklace. That's pretty cool. I always wear my Witcher pennant so I can relate. Uh, she's got a chest plate, uh, eyes, uh, right eye is blind. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, loves to play on the Switch. Here's how she looks like without the jacket. Here's her weapon. Uh, looks like uh, she's a mage type character. That's pretty cool. Uh, sometimes wears jacket, lol, and of course Alex, female and 18 years old. Alex reference sheet, I don't know, shush, I can change her if I want to, lol, but I just added the jacket and lock necklace, oof. Uh, also, I put some hexadecimal codes uh, for my world. Well, I do gotta say, that is actually a pretty good description, you know. Uh, like, uh, I really do like, uh, uh, you know, character descriptions that are actually, you know, that uh, in-depth and into detail. It shows that you're, you know, you're dedicated to creating a new character and all that. And that's pretty cool. A huge thumbs up to that. And of course, like I said, you know, just be sure to, uh, you know, work a little bit on, uh, you know, your line work, especially over here on the legs. And of course, uh, over here on the eyes, be sure to improve uh, or fix upon anything that looks slightly out of place. And uh, you'll get better in no time. So, yeah. So everyone, that about wraps it up for this R review. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. And if you wish to support me in a way on Patreon, link is in the description below. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe. I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.